All right, joining me now is North Carolina Congressman Dan Bishop, who voted against the bill, and Wisconsin Congressman Derek Van Orden, who voted for the bill. So, Congressman Bishop, a few minutes ago, Joe Biden put out a statement and said this, this agreement is good news for the American people and the American economy. Uh, 165 Democrats voted for it. You opposed it. Uh, is it good news for the American people? Pete, I think the indication in the vote that more Democrats voted for the bill than Republicans did, and of course Republicans have a larger number of members in the chamber, is a sign who got the best of the deal and, and that the, the benefits of the deal as sold by the leadership have not, they haven't been square with the American people about it. Biggest problem of all is that the debt limit by Kevin McCarthy's own initiative and without the advance agreement of the conference is stretched out a year longer than we propose to do, and the uh, incurrence of probably, four, nobody has an exact number because they didn't specify it in the bill, although they should have, four trillion, maybe more, in additional debt on the American people uh, is to be incurred without any opportunity to come again and try to gain more in terms of sub real and substantial benefits. So it's a missed opportunity. Obviously, the biggest problem, it split the Republican conference deeply, and now Kevin McCarthy's got to figure out how we re reacquire the unity that we started the year with after the, uh, as a result of this contest for the speaker's election. Well, I want to get to that. I want to get to that in a moment. But Representative Van Orden, are you concerned by, we thought maybe 35 or 40 Republicans would vote against it. The number was 71 on the final vote. Uh, are you concerned by the fact that so many Democrats liked it and so many conservative Republicans didn't? No, I'm not. I'm not at all, Pete. There's a lot of people talking about what is not in that bill, but let's talk about what is in that bill. It protects the people that built this nation. Those are our seniors. It protects the people that protected this nation. Those are our veterans. It protects the people that feed this nation. Those are our farmers by making sure that our biofuel industries remain viable. And it helps the people most in need uh, in the United States of America. I'm on the SNAP committee on purpose because I was raised in poverty on, in food stamps. So what this does is it allows these folks to get back into the workforce because we have real work requirements in this bill for the first time in a very long time. And it allows people the dignity to be able to support their own families. So no, I'm not worried about how many Republicans didn't vote for this. I'm sure that we're all gonna get together on Monday again and we're gonna work together as a conference because that's what adults do. Governing is very difficult and we're at it hard here in the House. I'm, I'm curious, real quick, Congressman Van Orden, what did you hear from constituents? Like, on balance, um, were they for or against this? Was there, a, was there a sense in your office? You know what? It was about 50-50. And the reason being is that there's a lot of stuff being put out by the uh, Biden administration saying that veterans' benefits were going to get cut. That was a lie. They're saying that Social Security and Medicare are going to get cut. That was a lie. So a lot of the constituents uh, that I have were concerned about their benefits. Um, I was with a 93-year-old Korean War veteran at an American Legion in Sparta, Wisconsin, who was shaken to the core because he thought he was not going to get his veterans' benefits. And that's the direct result of incredibly disingenuous messaging by the Biden administration, and it's unacceptable. Representative Bishop, you talked about unity. There wasn't a lot of unity on the floor tonight. Uh, there are some that have suggested, yourself included, that a motion to vacate could become part of this process. Are we at that point where the man on the screen right now, his job is in jeopardy because of the vote? I mean, do you, is unity standing behind him even if it, you don't agree on everything or is he got to be with you all the time? Yeah, Pete, we're not going to agree on everything that no one ever has in such an expectation. But we came to a resolution of the, our, our disagreements at the beginning of the year when Kevin became speaker around an agreement that was specific in terms. And it had certain key components. Kevin has violated one of those in the negotiation he undertook. The, the, so th that agreement produced until now amazing unity and the ability to work effectively as a majority. That unfortunately has been damaged badly or perhaps destroyed. I think we have to look now to Kevin and see what his next move is to see if that can be recovered. Uh, the I, violation I have a hard time was what how we get specifically? There. Well, there were specific terms about that we that he would be committed to uh, reducing discretionary spending to the 2022 levels. That didn't occur in its entirety in this bill. 
Uh, and furthermore, we did, although we spent all these months having conferences and staying in touch across the conference to keep people in the loop, here Kevin went off for the first time to do a negotiation on his own, and without notice, not only did he double the amount of debt the nation was going to incur before we get back into the negotiation again, uh, he abandoned that core tenet of the agreement. And so that, that at the very least, had, so uh, that are you saying necessary. today you will or will, would you support him uh, based on what you know right now? Do you support Kevin McCarthy as the Speaker of the House? Well, I, 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 there's a, there, there's a, a question that must be answered, which is what? How does this get rectified? I, I don't think you just go forward after he's abandoned the agreement that we entered the uh, Congress under, and just hope for the best. I think it'll get worse and worse. Because this, uh, uh, because people were so uh, uh, badly abused by the way the negotiation was handled. Representative Van Orden, last word, real quick. I mean, colleagues talking about uh, breaks in trust. Uh, what do you make of it? I think that Monday morning we're going to get back together as a conference. I'll probably wind up drinking a cup of coffee with my colleague, Mr. Bishop. And we're going to make sure that we work for the people that represented us. So the 750,000 people of Wisconsin's 3rd Congressional District sent me to Washington, D.C. to work for them. And this bill worked for our seniors, our vets, our farmers, and those most in need. I'm very proud to support it. And I have the utmost confidence in Kevin McCarthy's leadership. This conference is going to work together because we're all adults and we're putting the best interest of the United States of America over our own personal interest. And that's how you're supposed to govern. And that's exactly what the, the House of Representatives is doing. And we proved it today. Well, the speaker made a deal and it did pass. We'll see what the future holds. Congressman Bishop and Van Orden, thank you very much.